Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play Cat Blues The Big Gig, designed by Griner Knizia and published by us here at Bytewing Games. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points. Points are earned as you collect sets of four cards, earning tips for these quartets. Each quartet will also award a quartet token. And after three games, the player with the most quartet tokens earns a big tip, worth an additional 10 points. Let's take a look at the setup. And the game is played over three rounds, so each of the three rounds will be set up basically the same way. Select one of the three stacks of mouse tip tokens, placing these tokens in the center of the table. The three stack of tokens look different, but are functionally the same, so it doesn't matter in which order you use the tokens. Create six stacks of quartet tokens separated by their values. Place the big tip tokens next to the quartet tokens. The seven value cards are only used if playing with the expansion. Return those to the box for your first game. Shuffle the musician cards and deal a hand of six cards to each player. Each player is given a tip case. Place the remaining musician cards in the center as a draw deck. The player who most recently listened to jazz music becomes the start player. The start player, the band leader, will reveal cards from the top of the deck one at a time until either two cards of the same value are revealed, or until a joker is revealed. If a joker was revealed, every player draws one card from the top, adding it to their hand. The revealed cards will now be auctioned. Starting with the player to the left of the band leader, players will bid on these revealed cards. So how do you bid? You can either bid different valued cards, or equal valued cards. And you can only make bids with cards that you actually have in your hand. Let's take a look at a few examples. And I'm gonna reveal the cards here, but note in the game, you won't actually reveal, it's just for illustration purposes. Nick says, I bid three cards. That means Nick is bidding three different cards of any different value. He couldn't make that bid of three cards if this were his hand, because he doesn't have three different valued cards. Each card has to be unique. In this case, Nick could say, I bid two ones, or I bid two cards. So your bid will either be, I bid X number of cards, or I bid two ones, or three fours. After an auction has begun, either by two of the same value or a joker being revealed, the player to the left of the band leader will begin the bidding, and then the player on their left either has to increase the bid or pass. You can increase the bid in a few ways. First, you can increase the number of cards. Nick bid two different cards. Amanda could increase the bid by bidding three different cards. Sets of equal numbers are always higher than different numbered cards. So if Nick had bid two different cards, Amanda could increase the bid by bidding two cards of the same value. You can also increase the bid by bidding a higher value of equal cards. Amanda's bid was two twos. Cammy could increase the bid by bidding two fours. And then back to Nick. He could increase the bid by bidding three different valued cards. And remember, you don't actually reveal your cards as you're making the bids, that's just for illustration purposes. Players will continue to bid in a clockwise order until all but one player have passed. And once a player has passed, they can't re-enter the auction. The winner of the auction reveals their cards and places these cards in the discard pile. They take the auction cards into their hand and that player becomes the next band leader. Before beginning to flip new cards, that player who just won the auction has the opportunity to meld a quartet. A quartet is four cards of the same value. The player will reveal those four cards and take tip tokens equal to the numbers shown on that quartet. So if you have a quartet of threes, you'll take three tip tokens. You'll also take the matching quartet token if you don't already have it. Discard the quartet and optionally draw back up to four cards if you have fewer than four cards in hand. You can meld multiple quartets at a time, so after winning an auction, you could meld both of these quartets. If you have a quartet, you don't have to meld it. There may be reasons you may want to hold on to it. But remember, you can only meld a quartet after winning an auction, so be a little bit careful because the game could end and you never win another auction and you're stuck with that quartet in your hand. All right, I haven't gone over the different values of these cards. There are 15 of each number, one through five, and there are also 15 jokers. The jokers are jokers, they're wilds. They can be used in place of any number when bidding. You could even use multiple jokers. So you could bid three fives using these cards. You could even bid three fives with just jokers. 
But when you discard your cards after winning a bid, you do not discard jokers. Instead, keep those face up next to your player area. They can't be used again, but at the end of the game, the player with the most jokers in front of them will lose five of their tip tokens. The only way to discard and completely flush out of your hand these jokers is to meld them. The quartet of jokers is discarded, but will never earn you any tips. But you still get a quartet token for jokers. So four jokers can be used to meld and discard jokers, but jokers can also be used to help meld normal quartets. For example, I could mail the quartet of fives using a joker as a five. I would collect five tip tokens, discard the fives, but the joker stays in front of me. And I could have done the same with three jokers and a five. Remember, four jokers in a quartet will never award you tips, so you can't pretend they're fives to give you tips. The round ends immediately when the last tip token is taken, or when the last card is either taken or revealed. At this point, players place any jokers from their hand into their play area. The player with the most jokers loses five mouse tokens. If multiple players have the most jokers, they each lose five mouse tokens. You can never go into the negative, so just pay what you have. Your remaining tips and quartet tokens stay with you. Shuffle all of the cards, grab another set of mouse tip tokens, and deal six cards to each player. The player with the most mouse tips becomes the new band leader and starts a new round. In case of a tie, the tied player who has more quartets is the band leader. You'll play rounds two and three the exact same way as you did the first round. After three rounds, you'll move on to final scoring. The player with the most quartet tokens gains a big tip token, worth 10 of the regular tips. And if players are tied, they each get a big tip token. Total up your tips, and the player with the most tips wins. In case of a tie, the tied players share the victory. All right, and that is Cat Blues. If you want an even shorter experience, just play one of the three rounds. Don't use any of the quartets, just play with the one set of tip tokens. And what about these sevens? To include this expansion, simply shuffle in the seven additional cards. The sevens can be used in bidding and to meld quartets. A melded seven quartet will award a whopping seven tip tokens, but it doesn't award a quartet token. And now you know how to play Cat Blues, the big gig. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.